Hey, what's going on? Just got done watching uh, Monday Night Football on the DVR. Got back from work. I didn't know what the score was. I don't. I didn't check Facebook or anything. Had no idea what happened. Uh, however, I I did know the uh, the spread of the game. It was seven and a half points. Hmm. And the final score was twenty to thirteen. Of course, the final score should have been more like 27 to 13, but the referees had a inadvertent whistle when Danny Amendola catches the ball. The referee uh, blew the whistle saying, mistakenly thinking uh, Tom Brady still had the ball and ran out of bounds, apparently. Uh, it's just funny how things happen like that with the NFL referees every once in a while, just to Barely make the spread, huh? <laughs> that would have been a fucking 65, 70 yard touchdown pass. At, you know, but at the very least, he would have gotten to like the 20 yard line or so before they, any chance of a free safety getting to him coming from the replay. And since I did have DVR, I rewind it. I rewound it. You know, played it in slow motion and played it in regular speed. And even at regular, because I was thinking, oh, the referee must have had his whistle in his mouth like this. No, that's not what happened. What happened was, he had the whistle in his hand, like this. Tom Brady throws the ball about two yards away from the sideline, comes down. And as the ball is in the air, right about there... Not quite caught. He didn't catch the ball. They say he did. They say he caught the ball before the whistle, but he didn't. And uh, so <laughs> this guy, the referee goes up like this. Boom. I mean, pretty like chalantly. Like he, it's not like he was like fast. He just went boom. his little fucking ring whistle. An inadvertent whistle in an NFL football game from an NFL referee is like an inadvertent blowjob from a stripper in their champagne room. It doesn't fucking happen. Doesn't happen. Doesn't exist. It does today with the referee fuckery on Monday Night Football. Massive referee fuckery to get that seven and a half point spread. And they had a... Uh, a holding call, like, which they can always call on every single play whenever they want. <clears throat> uh, that called back a big play for the Patriots as well. And it's, uh, I don't know, I think it's obvious they're fucking fixing it for the fucking, for the fucking spread. Is what it looks like to me on, on some of these games. I'm not saying every game. But fucking, you get prime time, you get fucking Sunday night football, Monday night football. Looks like uh, some, some fuckery is afoot, but what do I know? Maybe it was just an inadvertent call. Maybe the guy's just a fucking moo-moo moron. A derp derp. A douche. Alright, man. Anyway, Patriots are 10-0. and 0. Um, I think they're two games up in the loss column from the Denver Broncos coming in next week, I believe. Denver, tough defense. Ugh, I think it's on Sunday night football, so the uh, spread should be what it says on <laughs> what it says in Vegas because it's a prime time game. Don't worry, there'll be referee fuckery afoot to make sure that happens. Uh, don't need any fucking mobsters or mafia dons losing money on the game. They do protect our country, after all, from the terrorists, according to, uh, I think I saw that in some online newspaper. And I think it was on TV, too, they came out with it yesterday or today or something. Some, was it, like, uh, some grandkid, was it from the Gambinos or something, <laughs> said that, uh, the mafia is protecting New York, so... I guess it's just the NFL's uh, penance to the Mafia for their...
protection. I don't really think that. I don't fucking know. I just, I just know that that was fucked up. <laughs> and it makes me think uh, there's referee fuckery afoot. That's what I think. I also like saying referee fuckery a lot because it rhymes. It has a nice ring to it. I haven't made a video in Wildcats. It's fucking mean. It's cold as fuck out here. But I had to make a video about that. An inadvertent whistle. And uh, I'm watching the guy's reaction going up to the micro... The, you know, the referee referee. Not the guy that actually blew the whistle. But the fucking guy that talks to the crowd. He did not look like he wanted to talk to the crowd at all. Oh. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe he was just mad because they were making it too obvious. Maybe that was it. Uh, guy's face, fucking. The guy made the call like a play later. They showed his fucking face on TV. It reminded reminded me of the uh, the commercial there, the double check commercial when they were going over that. I'm gonna put my my cigarette out and come back. Pause. All right, we're back. Light up another fucking butt, take another fucking five minutes off my life. Although I didn't smoke too much today, I did pretty good doing better with it, but it's cold out making a video. Fuck it, I'll smoke another one. Let's see, what else is there to fucking talk about? Hmm. So, a lot of weird fucking political shit going on since that fucking Paris shit happened. I was gonna let shit settle down, fucking do some fucking uh, research and see what I think. I don't like fucking taking a position without any uh, solid evidence. I, I mean, but I saw a few uh, soccer stadiums in Turkey, which is 98% uh, Muslims uh, cheering and at the moment of silence. That's. Uh, Pretty telling, I think, but anyway, I wouldn't want to say anything overly offensive. I wouldn't want to do anything overly offensive to uh, those people that uh, found it very classy to cheer during the moment of silence. Very, very classy move by uh, classy Muslims with their uh, classy religion. So, let's see, Broncos, Patriots, let's go back to fucking football. Next week, Broncos have a good defense, their second string quarterback doesn't look too shabby, um, and when Belichick faces a rookie quarterback, he, uh, they always, you know, on the TV it's always about, oh, it's rookie versus a, you know, a first time starter versus a, Belichick, you know, Belichick's going to win, but actually, you know, a few, a few uh, first-time starters have, have burned a Belichick defense because he doesn't have much tape on them, you know, so it's hard to coach people up for what to expect when you don't know what to expect yourself, but uh, that defense is looking pretty fucking nasty, pretty nasty. Um, they're going to, I think it's, uh, I believe Eric Decker, I believe he's on the Broncos still, um, I think he's on the Broncos. So, anyway, they have, they have some fucking receivers on there. They're going to have to fucking get against these fucking corners, Butler and Logan. Um, their best bet's against Coleman or Chung. And uh, Chung's pretty good. He just gets burned deep every once in a while. We'll see if Belichick can correct that or if uh, Coleman's back in uh, on Sunday night as the nickel cornerback. Let's see, as a score, uh, whether they're Peyton Manning plays or not, I'm going to take the Patriots 24 17. 24 17 Pats. So, and I'm going to look for uh, Damien Amendola to have a big game if he's back. Um, if he's not back, I'm going to take the uh, Patriots uh, 20 to 
to 17. I think it'll be a close game. I think the defense will step up if uh, Amendola can't go. I think they'll find a way to keep it fucking close. And I think they'll fucking come out with the victory. We're at 10-10. This has been Smoke Break. Have a good night.